Welcome to Mindset Monday. Uh, I'm going to jump straight into it and the topic for today is mind love. And you know what? This isn't actually loving your mind because right now I do not love my mind. I've just tried to do this video off a live stream like a dozen times and turns out my brain just kicks in, takes over, goes into overdrive and goes, hey, this, 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 this and this. So you know what? I've gone back to going live because now whatever I say goes. It's just going to stick unless I decide to delete it and do it again. But being that it's live, uh, there's less chance that I'm going to do that. So anyway, the idea behind this is not actually loving your mind. The idea is how do you love something with your mind? And in the versions of this that I just tried to record, I put forward the idea that loving something with your mind is not something like using the force to deliver chocolates and flowers towards your girlfriend, wife, significant other, that special person that you have in your life. Because well, the force isn't real. Um, although if you jump into the scientificness of that, because, you know, that's a word, uh, I'm sure that's not mind-related anyway, but maybe it is. Who knows? It's science fiction. It's made up. Um, but look, the idea is this. The idea is that in the Bible, it mentions that us as Christians, we should love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Now, look, if you're not a Christian, that doesn't apply to you. But regardless of whether you're a Christian or not, you love something with your mind. Because the, the idea, at least as far as I can tell, is that loving something with your mind would be what you spend most of your time thinking about, not in a stressed out, anxious kind of way, but like in a happy kind of way. The stuff that you, you think about that makes you happy, the stuff that you willingly want to spend time thinking about, which could be, you know, like I've already mentioned, wife, girlfriend, significant other, whoever you've got in your life for that kind of thing. It could be something like your car. It could be your house. For some people, it could be money. It's like, I want more money. But the question then that stems from that is, what is that then leading you to do? So, because... At, you know, you think about it, and then as you think about it and think about it more, then it turns into action. So that's probably what you see more out of the love. Like before a man proposes to a woman, usually they will have thought it through a lot first. So, and it would have taken a lot of time to build up to that to eventually work up the courage to do something outwardly about it, including like, what if she says no? What if she says no? What if she says yes? Then, you know, oh yeah, if she says yes, then, you know, we'll have this amazing life together and all this. So, you know, it then spurs forth action. So look, obviously from that, the question is, what are you, what is it that you're loving with your mind? And where is that actually leading you? Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? If you're a Christian, is it God? Anyway, that's your takeaway. That's my final point because uh, I'm going to cut it off there because there's been like a whole bunch of other stuff that I dived into in the the precursor videos to this and that are never going to see the light of day now. Um, and yeah, it, it got real deep real quick and I'm just not going to go there. So take that as your takeaway and uh, have. A, I hope you're having a great day. That one, have a great day. I don't know how to end this now, but uh, I hope to see you next time. And if you'd like to see me next time, try and piece the pieces of my brain back together you can follow or subscribe thanks bye